Hi everyone, I am Saloni and welcome back to our channel Codera. So in the first video of the Wipro interview questions, we only covered the technical questions. And if you didn't watch the video yet, then don't worry, you will find the link in the description box. So in today's video, we will cover this two section, which is behavior based question and the HR question with the answers. So in the HR section, the first question is why do you want to join Wipro? So I would suggest you that before the interview of any company, you must have the knowledge about the company, like what actually the company do or who is the CEO of that company and so on. So here in this question, you can mention about the good qualities of that company, like about you can talk about the work culture of the company and mention those things which make the company different from the others. So basically here you have to praise the organization. So our next question is why should we hire you? So basically here you have to represent your skill. So you can mention your technical skills and other skill which match with the job description. Like you can talk about your time and stress management skills. And here you can also mention your achievements. So ultimately you have to make them realize that you are the candidate who can fulfill their requirements. Now our next question is are you ready to relocate? So the answer of this question will be yes or no and it's completely dependent on you. So if you are ready to relocate, so you can say yes, otherwise you can say no. Now moving towards our next question which is what are your strengths? So mention your strength which are related to the job profile or somehow your strength is beneficial for the company's growth. For example, you can, you can tell them team player, adaptable, quick learner as your strength and you also have to give them some example to show that how you use your strength to achieve your goals. For example, if your strength is a team player, so you can say like in our college, we organize a blood donation camp and I was a team member of that camp. So me and our team member worked for one week and organized the camp. As a result, our camp was a great success. So in this way, you can give some example to show the interviewer that how you use your strength to achieve some goals. So now our next question is, what are the qualities of your hometown or city? And nowadays in online interviews, this question is frequently asked by the interviewers, not only in the Wipro, but also in other companies. So the answer of this question is completely based on your hometown. So you should know at least three to four qualities of your city or the hometown. Suppose your city is Indore. So you can say like, Sir, my hometown is Indore and it was adjusted the cleanest city for the fifth consecutive year by the Swachh Sarvekshan 2021. And Indore is the food capital of India and India's first private radio broadcasting channel that is Radio Mirchi has started from Indore and so on. So in this way, you can mention three to four qualities of your city or hometown. So let's see our next question, which is, are you aware about our service agreement? So if you are aware about the company's service agreement, then you can say yes. Otherwise, you can say no. So if you will say no, then they will explain you their complete service agreement. And as per I know, Wipro has the service agreement of one year and if you will break the agreement, then you have to pay 75,000 rupees. So our next question is, what do you know about the Wipro? Or instead of this question, they may ask you some company related question like who is the CEO of the Wipro or do you know on which technology our company is working? Or they may ask you some question like, do you know that what type of solution our company provides? So be prepared for this type of questions. Now let's see some question based on the behavior. So our first question is, what are the qualities needed in a team leader? So to answer this question, you can mention some of these qualities like active listening, communication, decision making, problem solving and so on. So our next question is, how would you handle stressful situations? So the intention behind asking this question is that the interviewer wants to get a better idea of how you handle various stressful situation at work. So here you have to answer appropriately. You can't say like, I never get stressed. After all, everyone feels stress at one time or another at work. 
सो टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू प्रोवाइड एनी स्पेसिफिक एग्जाम्पल of how you have handled stress well in the past so while answering this question you should keep this point in your mind like how stress motivates you and show them that you can manage multiple tasks at a time and try to focus on the positive action and you can also mention the skill that you have learned while working under the pressure like time management and in last you can mention your goals and the results So here is one example. I have found that a healthy amount of stress motivates me to stay on the track and work as efficiently and effectively as possible. For me deadlines are important. For example college or school exams. So at the time of exam I study much better before one day of the exam because when I am under a pressure I use my time management skills to get the task done. So this is how you can give your answer. Now let's see our last behavior based question which is what is the difficult or toughest decision you have taken in your life so here hr wants to know about your decision making and problem solving skills they want an answer that demonstrate that you can confidently make logical decision for their company so everyone takes many tough decision in their life but which decision will be the right one to discuss in the interview so you can discuss those decision which are relevant to your job description it should be about a professional experience so after selecting the right decision to be discussed in the interview you have to describe the situation when you had to took that decision in a clear and a concise way after that in the last you can talk about the result of the decision and few things you should keep in your mind that don't go negative and also don't be too personal while answering this question so for example you can say like choosing what should i do after the 12th was the toughest decision of my life because my complete career was dependent on this decision like the different opportunities salary job learning opportunity and many other things were dependent on this one decision so this is how you can answer this question So guys that's all about this video and I hope this video will help you in your interview preparation. So if you like this video so please hit the like button and subscribe our channel. Thank you so much for watching.